Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is RJ. So today we're dropping into Rollercoin. We're going to be picking up on their latest updates and we're also going to be checking out how our account is doing. So keep watching. Okay, and welcome to another video. And remember, if this is your first time visiting my channel and you want to learn more about how to earn crypto and currency for free, about cloud mining sites, crypto investments, and lots of other crypto related stuff, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to tag that notification bell so you're alerted to all my latest content as it comes online. Okay, so as you can see, we are here in Rollercoin and it has been a week or so since the last time we were in here. So as I did fear, or I did say in my last video, that I figured that there would be some new updates coming and that obviously as soon as they did happen i would make a video on them and that is why we're here today so let's just quickly look at our account in the last video obviously we did various uh, updates to our own account merging various miners attaining various miners and when we left that it was showing that i was at 153 something uh petahashes well um as I always say, with once you do this, normally it's a few hours later and there seems to get more power added. I don't know if it's the boosts or whatever. But anyway, we ended up with a total of something like 154,750 petahashes. So we gained about another half a petahash or a petahash uh, with the boosts. So that was really nice. You can see here my electricity is well down now that is basically because as i explained in the recent cmg video i did i have been away i was at a family wedding another family wedding <laughs> seems to be the year for them obviously we had great weather it was a great time everybody had fun but unfortunately where i was staying it was so out in the middle of nowhere the only internet connection they had was actually Starlink, that is Elon Musk's internet, uh, which I've never seen in the UK. So it was quite interesting to see it uh, actually sort of uh, physically. But um, unfortunately, I couldn't access it. So basically, I couldn't I couldn't use my mobile phone for anything. So basically, it just got switched off, shoved in a drawer until I came home. So So even when I was away, I couldn't use roller coin so as you can see this has had a bit of an effect on my account now the problem is is if i start suddenly buying batteries now if i need two batteries that's 180 rst we are still aiming for our 5000 rst that we need to get another one of these miners which if we dive into the season store so that is this miner here gives us 360 terahashes uh, and basically we need two of those to merge them and which will give you once you've merged about 800 uh, petashes or around about 850 900 petashes something like that but obviously like i say if we start buying our spending rst we're going to really struggle to get to that and we've only got 17 days we've got nearly 1500 rst but obviously because we don't have those um energy um cells we are mining rst at a lot lower level so it's a bit of a quandary but what i'm i'm i'm, I'm going for is to get this battery from the mini event and then I'm still getting batteries from using Loot TV as a one task. So by the end of the day, I'm hoping we'll have those two batteries for free. And then we can up basically bang them in there and get that up to uh, full speed. And then after that, I can use Loot TV daily to get that extra battery. But like I say, it is all a bit of a juggling thing at the moment because... As I've just said, if I spend RST, I'm, I might end up missing out on that 5,000 RST miner. But because I've not got the cells, I'm mining at a lower level. Um, but what can we do? That is it. That is basically that is uh, what we're dealing with at the moment uh, when it comes to our account. Uh, we are, if we dive into the event pass, 
we are on our way to level 14, which will be RST that unfortunately we don't qualify for because it's not free. Uh, but then we've got the trophy and then, you know, we've got a ways. So we've got to wait till, so we've got three levels before we get to any free RST. But then we get it here and we get it here. So, you know, cross fingers, we might be able to get that as well, which obviously will give our RST a boost and help us get into that 5,000 RST minor. Okay, so as we're talking about batteries, basically that is what we're going to be looking at in the way of the updates. Now, basically, Rollercoin have said that they've realized that from the, your feedback that their electricity system or the battery system does need some work now in a way in one way i like this but then in the other way which is a little bit up in the air uh, i'm not that keen on it but let's get into uh, what our roller coin have to say and we can then discuss it as we go through it okay just putting on my other glasses my super duper glasses Okay, so, here we go. Hey there, Roller family. Welcome to the special edition of RollerCoin Dev Diaries. We've carefully collected and analyzed all your feedback regarding the new electricity system over the past few months, and it's clear that some definite improvements are in order. But how is it going to be improved? Let's decide together. We are presenting the first draft version of the reworked electricity system and ask you to share your feedback regarding uh, regarding it via the form at the end of the blog. So obviously, if you do want to have some input to this, go into their blog, find the batteries, the new batteries uh, post, and then you can get involved with that. Okay. Right, so electricity system changes. Long story short, some cells are, will become free to recharge again but let's start with the basics and this is important now this is the important thing where it says please note that the version presented below is a draft and the final version may differ so you've really got to understand that this is all about your input so make sure come along to the blog click on the file at the bottom of the, uh, the blog uh, blog post, the battery post I've just told you about, and then you can have your say. Um, but uh, like, it, you know, what I'm going to show you now could slightly change. Okay, so there will still be five electricity cells, each with a 24-hour expiration period. This part will remain unchanged. What is going to be changed each cell from the progress bar will enable or disable various types of power and bonuses. Some cells will become free to charge as some of them will still need batteries to restore. So cells one to three. So basically here, so one to three is going to be, is going to be these ones here, your first ones. And then obviously the ones after that are going to be four to five. So cells one to three become free to charge. Uh, no batteries needed. So the great thing is that's going to be just like the old system. When we used to come in and basically we can, we, we'll click on something and then those first three cells will just charge up. And it says cells four to five will need batteries to recharge. Okay, so... So... This is obviously like I've just shown you. You can see there uh, on the left of the dotted line, that is the first three cells that I just highlighted on the screen. And then you've got four and five at the end. You'll notice each one says one day. So each one still lasts for 24 hours. And it says raw power cells, which is the first three, in the progress bar will remain your uh, remain retain your raw mining power so it says here raw mining power the mining power produced by miners without games uh adding bonus power and then it says here uh, these cells will work in the same way as the old uh, charge system as i've just said free to charge no batteries needed your raw mining power will remain fully sustained as long as you have at least one cell charged Okay, so here, 
bonus power cells. So this is going to be your four and five. So the fourth cell will activate all types of bonus power, specifically the power from collection bonus. This cell will need this cell will need to be recharged with batteries every 24 hour. Now this is a bit I don't like. It might cost one or more batteries. Now I don't like that because essentially they're making it just as difficult if not harder to essentially get those because obviously we're struggling at the moment to get one cell you know uh from tasks and other stuff and they're saying that it could possibly cost do anything up to, you know to more than one cell just to get up to that fourth that fourth cell working subject to uh being being currently worked at so they're not quite sure uh once the fourth cell is lost all your bonus power will be deactivated while your raw power remains so basically when it says all bonus power obviously they're talking about the games but is that going to be i'm assuming that means all the power from your five percent racks that obviously a lot of us have paid rlt to get uh, and also basically any bonuses so if you've got a miner that is giving you a five percent bonus you're going to lose that as well so that is you know in one sense it's good because it will just get you know you can for those three cells you can have your basic power your full basic power for free but if you want to activate those, but that bonus power, so the, any bonuses from the miner, and I'm guessing probably bonuses from sh the racks, which I'm hoping it's not um, from the racks as well. If it's from the miners, I sort of get that. But uh, like I say, the fact that it might cost you more, you know, I mean, to be honest with you, you kind of think, well, I might as well. Uh, you might as well just stick with the initial format. And allow us to just get a, a battery every day to keep that topped up and we're getting all the bonuses. But again, is this just something that they've realized or they've come to think that it's too easy? That, we, you know, it's too easy for us to keep all these bonuses. So, you know, not only uh, are they changing things uh, and, you know, putting all these mini events out, putting tons and tons of um big miners out there which only the higher accounts can get now essentially even just to retain your you know, the power we have now with with the bonuses you know that is e even more that's leaning towards the bigger accounts as well the people that can just keep buying uh, their batteries from RST rather than um you know because well, yeah, I mean, for me, it's just it is leaning the wrong way. Once again, it's all leaning the wrong way. Uh, maybe it's they've watched my video and they thought, hang on, this guy is just saving up all his RST and getting these miners. Well, what's the point? What's the point? That is the point of RST. Is so we can buy miners from the season store. You know, it's, I mean, again, you might as well, with everything that's going on, you might as well just get rid of RST. I've said it almost after a very short while after we got it because they keep penalizing us with it you know they didn't like how much uh we were getting from uh referrals like the rst we were earning for referrals so they killed that they did then something else which then made it more difficult for us to uh get rst now essentially they're then they brought in the batteries which meant we had to spend rst on those so again that's another thing taking rst away from us now this as well which possibly m might mean that if you want to get that bonus power uh you're going to be having to spend your rst on that as well so you know you kind of think why even bother putting having a season store why why not just give us we'll mine the rst and then the only thing that we can spend it on is batteries, you know, because it's because it's making it more and more difficult to even buy anything from that season store in the way of miners and stuff like that, because more and more stuff is being pushed 
that we have to divert our RST towards that as opposed to towards miners and stuff like that, which will actually help boost our accounts. Anyway, uh, next thing. So, extra bonus cells at least. So, and last but not least, the fifth cell. So that's obviously the final cell. Uh, it will also need to be recharged with batteries every 24 hours. Can cost one or more batteries. Again, uh, the fifth cell will activate some extra bonuses, which will give players additional boosts in the game. What kind of uh, bonuses uh, can be given? Uh, you will decide. Share your ideas uh, via this form. So that form is below. Uh, here are some possible variants progression event multiplier will increase the amount of point you get from the mini event so that's sort of okay uh, task wall re uh, reward multiplier increase what you get from the task wall for those of you that do the task wall that is good as well but like i say it's for me it's this whole thing of basically you know because the thing is, is they're, they're doing this with the mentality that this will push people into investing in the platform. That's what it, that's, that's their view on it. But the problem is, is what will happen is that they will get just less and less people. I think that more and more people will just decide, no, I'm just not bothering with it. You know, for you know those people that haven't been in it long, haven't invested a huge amount of time. You know, I just think there's that you, suddenly you're just going to start getting a lot of accounts that are no longer being used because Rollercoin are just making it more and more difficult for anyone with a small account uh, to build. Uh, you know, without investing. And to me, for me, again, with everything that they're doing. I actually would not even tell anyone to invest in this anymore, you know, because unless you're investing all the time, um, it's just, you know, I don't know. It, it just, it, it, you're just at this endless uh, thing of, you know, one step forward, two steps back all the while because of everything that they keep doing. Uh, which is just essentially making it more and more difficult. Um, so, you know, it is what it is, I guess. So here we go. Uh, so what about the recharge feature? Um, obviously, people have mentioned this. Uh, we plan to keep uh, this feature on chain. So when you purchase a season pass, you have at least one battery auto discharge. The auto discharge or recharge of the batteries uh, and auto replenishment of the electricity features will apply. But again, it only, we only get it if you invest in the program. Okay, and finally, let's discuss, this is the draft version. Again, like I said at the beginning, this could change at any time. Uh, this is draft version of the upcoming electricity system and your feedback will play a crucial role on its further improvement. So like I say, at the bottom of this blog, you will find the form or a button that will take you to the form. Have your say. Go and have your say. If, you know, and let us know as well. Put some put some posts below this video. Let us know what you think. Uh, obviously, you've heard my opinion on it. Uh, and, and it's, you know, obviously my account is already quite big. But even that, I'm losing places hand over fist. Because... I still want to make withdrawals, so I'm not in, I'm not reinvesting every single thing I earn, which is almost what it's getting to the point of. That if you, you know, if, if, even if your account is producing a good amount of coins, you know, we've made two withdrawals this season, both worth over a hundred thousand BTC, which is great. But the thing is, is like I say, I'm just dropping down that leaderboard. Like it, like I said, it's getting to the point that unless you're reinvesting every everything that you are earning, which what is the point? Because the point of it is that you earn coins and withdraw, but it's getting to that point that you're just you're just going to be losing all the time. That you can't essentially, um, you know, make any forward progress because of everything that they're doing. And which is a real shame because I mean this used to be an absolutely brilliant platform. Obviously, I'm. I am persisting with it because my account is already a good size. 
So I'm not quite at that sort of point of forget about it, but I can understand people that have not been in it long or people that have not got very big accounts uh, walking away from it and going to do something that is more productive and, uh, you know, a more positive experience for all the work that you guys are putting in. But like I say, let me know what you think. Put posts below this video. It's always great to hear your thoughts. And obviously, any questions to do with Rollercoin, paste them below the video as well. And I will answer them as soon as I can. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there. I hope you found that helpful, fun, and informative. And if you can smash that like button, please, it really does support my channel, which then helps me make more content to help you. So take care. Have a great rest of your week. And I will speak to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.